Hello everybody. So today we're going to be talking all about skin supplements. Now I know a lot of people haven't heard about them or kind of have a lot of questions. So today me and Amy are going to be going over all the typical questions that we find that we get in our salons. So I'm Mo I'm Simone and I'm from Malvern Serenity. And I'm Amy and I'm from Pure Emporium. And as Simone said, we're so excited to take you through a little bit more information about the skin care supplements today. So we work with Advanced Nutrition, which is an amazing company. And um, from my own personal experience, I was a massive acne sufferer, not just on my face, but on my back and my chest. Um, and um, one day somebody actually approached me and mentioned these supplements. And so I investigated a little bit more and then I tried them and it honestly changed my life. And this is why supplements are a big part of what I do with my skin uh, treatments because they're so vital to really get skin health um, and the vast just stand out because they have well the, the, the main piece so we've got production so we're using top quality ingredients we're not using cheap we know where it comes from we, uh, they're able to trace exactly what farm it's come from for example so I love this about advanced nutrition because um, it just means that we know that we're going to get the top quality ingredients into our system so yeah, and then next that we have purity. So um, a lot of brands that you can find on the market, for example, you can't really trace it back, but also the purity isn't there because of the way that it's manufactured. So a lot of these are, they're put through an irradiated process, um, which can actually damage the supplements, whilst, you know, advanced nutrition are using charcoal to process any toxins from their, from their vitamins. So this is another reason why advanced nutrition just really stand out. Um, where they can, they are vegan, um, they're allergen free, they're very easy to digest. And in fact, all of them will dis disintegrate within your system within 30 minutes. This is why, again, I love, love, love advanced nutrition. So they also really, really focus on potency. And potency is something that is super duper important when we know how much of an ingredient we are getting into our system. So they actually do so much testing on their products to make sure that they are delivering exactly what it says on the tin. And unfortunately, a lot of brands out there don't put as much time and energy into the testing that they do. So you might think you're getting a specific amount of that product inside you, but actually Advanced Nutrition Program throw so much time and energy into making sure that things are exactly as it should be. And they've also spent one hell of a lot of money on things before in the past that they have decided to just throw away because they were not happy with the potency and the quality of said product. So they put so much more time and effort into making sure they could get it to what it should be before it then was able to be um, sold and put into salons like ours. And then I suppose the last one is the fads for the P. So um, they don't follow trends, which is what I love. Um, they, they look at science, they look at what skin issues are out there and they solve them. Um, so they don't follow these trends that are around for like three to six months or whatever. They stand out because they don't and they stand out as an individual company because they're always creating new things which just changed the world in my opinion absolutely and there is that one more which is the packaging oh yeah of course <laughs> we always forget the packaging but it's yeah. actually super duper important um because they deal with so much um they've got so much sort of strong ethics regarding um, recyclable products and making sure that they are doing their bit to save the planet. So all of their packaging in itself is totally recyclable, but it's also made from recycled products as well. And I suppose going along with that, their efficacy of being environmentally friendly, again, they're part of EPAX, which is a manufacturer of fish oil, and they are members of the Friends of the Sea, which is really good because it means we're not using areas which are overproductive or that the oil, or the fish oil is in contaminated water or anything like that. So again, that really falls apart on the environmental part. But um, yeah, they're just amazing. Absolutely. So we are so passionate about you guys being able to try these supplements and get them in your system. And the reason why supplements are so important, and Simone and I are going to be explaining this all the way through this video, um, but the main real reason as to why it's absolutely crucial to get these supplements inside your system if you want to create change to your skin or just to maintain healthy skin is because it's going to feed 80% of your skin. And the way that I always like to describe this is it goes hand in hand with your topical skincare. But if you were wanting to treat more of the skin, 
then you're going to be looking at your supplements. The skincare itself, well, when you pop it on, you rub it in topically, that's going to treat the top 20% of your skin. When you then take a supplement internally, that's feeding the 80% of the skin below that. So all in all, if you were to do both of those things together, which is in an ideal world, what we want you to be doing, that then means you're feeding 100% of every skin layer that you have. And that's just absolutely fantastic if you're wanting to move your skin to overcome skin concerns, and they could include aging, they could include dryness, acne, breakouts, oiliness, you name it, there is definitely something that can be helped by taking supplement is there anything that I think missed in there Simone not missed but um what I like to say as well is the dermis which is deep layered skin is your factory of your skin so yeah. you can use medical you can use the best skincare on top but if your factory is broken then you're constantly getting cells reach the top layer that are damaged so then your your skincare on top of skin skincare is having to constantly repair those broken cells so if we can get your factory of your skin working again when it's rising it's healthy so all it's going to do is improve so for example you know for somebody that's having scarring or wants to heal scarring if your skin's already healthy then your medical skincare going on top can then actually work on the scarring and not skin health um so yeah it's really important to fix both and just to kind of divulge from that as well with what simone means there because it's so so valid is because what happens is is like simone said in the lowest layer of your skin which is your dermis that's where your skin cells are generated. So they are get created and made in that area. And what they do over time is they rise. So they come to the top of the skin and that's where naturally then we get the dead skin cells. They then get removed and it's this constant regeneration process. So exactly what Simone said, when they rise to the top, you want those to be in their prime and be really healthy so that you can have gorgeous, healthy skin that actually gets complemented by your skincare um, and not the other way around. Absolutely right. And of course, it's really important we discuss like what's the difference between um, A&P and other supplements. So um, if you tend to buy a shop bought one, what tends to happen is they follow government guidelines. So yeah, they're great, but they're just something for you to survive. So I always think about it like the basic diet you need to survive, the basic amount of water to, to survive. But if you want to thrive, if you want to live a full life, a bit like how you want your skin to be vibrant, we need to use the maximum dose that your skin is going to use every single day. And I suppose, again, where um, their, their, their peas stand in is that we know that we're using the best ingredients the best that your skin recognizes because there's so many vitamin a out there not all of it is recognized by our skin so um that's just one example of vitamin so you know this again why mastitution stand out because they use scientifically proven vitamins for our skin absolutely and and that's just it you know you want to make sure that if you are going to be popping something inside you that it's going to be doing the best job possible now a lot of people might be thinking that if you already have quite a healthy diet anyway then why would you need to take supplements well this is actually something that's really 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 important to cover because it's absolutely impossible to gain all of the nutrients and vitamins that your skin needs just from diet alone. And the reason for that is because of the way in which food is manufactured, the way in which it's produced, the way that it's packaged, the way that it's shipped, the way that it's cooked. Unfortunately, all of these different factors do deplete the vitamins and mineral content in food. And the way that I always like to describe this is when you cook your um, your fruit and your, well, not your fruit, your vegetables, um, when you boil them up in the pan, the whole time that they're boiling, what's happening is you're depleting the amount of goodness that's inside of those vegetables. So unless you're able to physically eat things out of the ground, which probably is not the most tasty way of doing things, um, then unfortunately it's really important that um, you do top up those levels in the body if you do wanna be making the changes to your skin. And I know that, um, that Simone, you, you talk a lot about this to your clients in the salon, don't you? Yeah. So again, talking about soil, you know, even our soil is just not as healthy as it used to be. It's not as thriving. So there was a study done in Canada on an orange tree and same tree, but two different orange and two different parts of that tree. One was full of vitamin C and the other one had none in there. So that just shows that even our soil degrading and not having that health, it can actually affect the way that um, our 
our food is even delivered before it's even taken off that tree. So it's just so vital. And of course, we know that the skin is the last organ to get any nutrients, a bit like water again. So it's really important to give your skin that extra love because especially nowadays, we live in such an, an environmentally harsh atmosphere we're so we're attacked by everything all day every day inside outside you know so it's really important we do always feed our skin with extra and also when we talk about you know that the government guidance is to always have your five portions of fruit and veg a day and you know that in itself is what a lot of people base themselves around which is great because it means then you're having that varied diet which is definitely what we would recommend but even just by getting just those five um, fruit and veg into your body, that definitely isn't going to be enough to feed the skin. And this is where the supplements come in, because as we've said, the skin is the last area of the body that those supplements are going to get to. So when you then have the extra amount that's going into your body, which is completely safe to do so, it means it's actually going to then make change in that area. So if someone was going to then take um, other styles of supplements, Simone, how does that kind of roll? So obviously your main, main supplements are drink supplements and tablet supplements. So um, firstly, liquid, you wouldn't drink it unless it tasted nice because it's just not, you know, you wouldn't do it on a daily basis. So these, they tend to contain the taste of orange in there or I don't know, strawberry but what does that come with? It comes with sugar. Now sugar depletes vitamins. So actually by the time you drink it, it's been so depleted in vitamins that it doesn't really do much because the sugar destroys it. And the same again, you've got these collagen drinks around. There is no scientific research to suggest that collagen drinks actually work and actually using vitamins to enhance your own collagen production is a hundred percent more effective. Absolutely. So yeah, I would 100% go down supplement route, but it's just doing your research again. You know, you need to be sticking with these ones that do have the research, like an advanced nutrition, don't just buy off the shelf. And again, you need to go to a skincare therapist. So like myself and Amy, it's really important because you're gonna need a different supplement according to your skin condition. And this is where we come in. We're, we're the people that know, we're educated into knowing what you need for your skin to make real changes with your concerns. So, but absolutely just be really careful with, um, with drinks or anything where you're uh, putting like a sugar tablet and it's old like jellies or anything like that. They do all sorts nowadays, because if it, if it tastes nice, then it's got sugar in there. So, it, you know, it does deplete it. And you always like we I keep repeating myself, but you always want to make sure you're getting the maximum sort of dose that you can get your hands on safely to take each day to be able to get those results faster. Definitely. So for anyone then that um, is pregnant, I know full well that pregnancy is um, a very key question and it's important to know whether or not they are safe to be taken through pregnancy. Now we know that the very high levels of vitamin A are not recommended during pregnancy at all. So we would always make sure that you're gonna be taking supplements that aren't including those high levels of vitamin A and there are absolutely still products in the range that are completely safe to take throughout pregnancy. But there's also some supplements in the range that are amazing to take with pregnancy, aren't there, Simone? Absolutely. So obviously one of the common um, symptoms of pregnancy is breakouts. Now, um, you know, before we couldn't, but advanced nutrition had developed a skin clear biome, which is a probiotic. So it works on keeping your skin from being a breakout. It helps to reduce the redness, but ultimately probiotics are amazing for pregnancy because it feeds your body with all those really good bacteria. So it's just so good to be on a probiotic, not just, you know, normal day to day, but even when you're pregnant, it's absolutely amazing for, um, you've got skin bit C, you've got skin amigas, really hydrating. So absolutely, there's always something for pregnant people to keep their skin glowing and healthy. Um, and I suppose you've got to come off a lot of stuff as well. So it's really important, for, in my personal opinion, it's more important to almost feed your, your skin with as many supplements as you can when you're pregnant, um, obviously to the limit with making sure you speak to your skin therapist because your skin will change because your body isn't your skin isn't the key at that point you're growing a human being so at that point it's actually really important you're getting more and more vitamins into your body within the realms of pregnancy Definitely. But, um, and I suppose another question that a lot of people um ask is medical conditions as well so 
Um, obviously we can, but we just advise that you ask your doctor before you take anything to make sure it's okay with any medication you're taking. Um, but again, most of the time there's no issues with it. So I think that's really important to say as well. Um, but it's always just worth checking in with your doctor before you take anything. Yes, absolutely. And that's if you are currently taking any medication to treat a medical concern that you may have. Um, so absolutely really, really important to make sure that, um, that we've covered that. But like Simone said, majority of the time it is going to be totally fine. We just want to make sure that everything's going to be OK first. So another question I know a lot of clients do ask um, is how long is it going to take until they start to see results? And this is something that's very much based from one person to another. However, we would always recommend taking the supplements for at least eight to 12 weeks before you are then going to expect to see some change in the skin. Now, I know from my personal experience with clients and myself taking these supplements, um, the fact that changes can happen one hell of a lot faster than that. But that is the sort of specified time frame um, because some people can just naturally take a little bit longer before they start seeing the results but also it's so that you can really create uh, see the change in that cell turnover that's coming through so like Simone said from the factory all the way rising up to the top surface of the skin that in itself can take that length of time so you do have to be sort of quite um, persistent with it and it's all about the long game but if you do want to create those changes this is going to be 10 times faster than doing it just with any type of skincare because you're just not going to be feeding that factory with the topical skincare alone is there anything that I've missed off there do you think I think it's just important for people to be realistic as well because for example wrinkles how long have you been damaging your skin to cause that wrinkle probably 20 years so to expect something to work overnight you just have to be realistic with the results and again um conditions like acne psoriasis they're all medical conditions so you know, we're able to treat them absolutely, but it's not going to be an easy run. It's just being patient with it. They're so, so good, but you just need to be patient. And I suppose the last thing is, is, you know, are you using medical skincare with it? What are you doing? Are you wearing SPF? So those things can also impact uh, the result, the end result of your supplementation. Um, and I think I'm going to ramble on here, but taking a multivitamin with your skin supplements as well, because if your body's really deficient and those supplements will, will be diverted some of them so we need to get a multivitamin in there so that your specific skin supplements can then just work on your skin so it's just being realistic and remembering that your supplements will act as your internal skincare so you're always going to need to use them not necessarily you won't always necessarily need to be on a treatment supplement but you need to be taking supplements always yeah, it's going to really help to maintain things. And it is such a valid, valid point there, what Simone said about making sure you understand what you're doing alongside your supplements. And I always like to explain this to people is like kind of doing your diet and your exercise, because, you know, you can go and you can smash out gym classes until you are blue in the face. But if you're leaving and you're going to get in takeaways every single night of the week, then it's just physically not going to be doing you that much good. So it's always really important to make sure that you're pairing it together with something that is also going to supplement um, and complement those results and changes that you're trying to achieve for sure. And again, I suppose in, in linking with that, you know, a lot of people do ask, um, is there a limit to how many can I can take? Can I overdose on supplements? Well, the answer is it's very, very, very difficult. You'd almost have to make an effort to overdose on supplements. It, you know, it'd be very difficult. You'd have to take hundreds and hundreds each day, which is one will break your bank. Um, but number two, would you'd be so full off of it. So um, it is very, very hard. And of course, uh, with advanced nutrition, every single supplement is a focus on a different vitamin. So, you know, it's very hard to combine them all and overdose, just extremely hard. So even if you were, I know Simone and I take a lot of supplements per day um, because we're just so passionate and we love the results that it creates. Um, but so Simone and I probably take no more, even though we take loads, no more than maybe 12 to 15 a day. And yeah. that that's us taking a lot realistically, um, you know, but that is nowhere near overdosing. Like Simone said, you'd need to be up in the hundreds if you were ever going to become poorly from taking these. The way in which a supplement works, especially when you're making sure that they're high quality supplements, is 
that if your body doesn't need it, it will just simply get rid of it for you. It's definitely not going to be anything that's going to be, you know, super harming to the body. Your body will just naturally get rid of it anyway. So it's definitely nothing to worry about there. You can take a lot of supplements each day very, very, very safely. Um, it's just a case of making sure that they're actually going to be beneficial to you, which is why it's important to make sure they are prescribed and recommended to you by somebody who knows and is educated um, and qualified within that said brand too. So um, linking to sort of how many can you take, um, I would say one thing that is a good thing to cover is if someone doesn't like taking supplements, then how can they potentially take them? Now, this is quite interesting because a lot of supplements, and I'm just going to grab one here. So this is the nail science. By the way, these are exactly how they come in these gorgeous little pots that you can then reuse for all sorts of different things at a later stage because they do highly recommend recycling them or reusing them for different purposes. Um, so for example, a capsule like this, you can see it's just like a standard capsule so you could potentially split that in half and then you can drop it onto your food you could pop it into a drink and you can make sure that it goes into the body that way instead now the only thing that we wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that with or you still can but it probably isn't going to taste very nice is the amigas and that's simply because it is a fish oil so those are in more squidgy um i'm just going to I haven't got mine. I've forgotten mine. That's okay. Right. I've got, these aren't the Amigas, but they're very, very similar to them, which is the Moisture Lock and they're squidgy. Okay. So they're very, very soft and they do swallow down very, very easily. And I know loads of clients that have taken supplements home from me who say that they hate taking tablets. And then I've spoken to them afterwards and they've gone, oh, it's fine. It was fine. Nothing to worry about. Um, so like I say, it's always worth giving it a good go. Um, but if not, you literally can just sprinkle them onto your food or into a drink. Yeah, absolutely. And I suppose coming off of that question, um, we need to know when is it best to take supplements because of yeah. course we want to get the most from our supplements so really you need to be having it with the heaviest meal of the day um, unless it's um, for example pro vitality formula where it's for energy then you take it at the start of the day because um, you obviously want the energy throughout the day but, but your skin supplements you realistically want to take them with your heaviest meal now for me that's my dinner so I always lay them out before um, I eat just to make sure I remember to take them and not taking them with a hot drink, not, not drinking them with alcohol or sugary drinks, because of course that depletes vitamins. So yeah, it's just really important to note the heavier the meal, the better absorption of your vitamins that will happen within your body. And of course we wanna get the most out of it. Yeah, and that's exactly it, you know, but, and that's the, again, how it can affect potentially the rate in which it's going to create changes. Because if you're not necessarily taking them at the right time of day, that could slow down the results. So we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to get the best chances of creating those change fast. Absolutely right. So um, are there any side effects to taking supplements? In a nutshell, absolutely not. The only thing that we would say to just maybe to sort of take into consideration is that it can, um, some of the supplements can make your um, wee quite a strong yellow color. Um, sort of just with more of a bright color really. And it doesn't mean that you're dehydrated. It's nothing to worry about whatsoever. It's just a case of the effects that it has when it's coming back out through the body. So it means really that the body has taken what it needs and then it's just getting rid of anything that it doesn't need, which is absolutely fine um, and totally, totally safe. And the other one is, Simone's got a little story about this one I know clear biome and youth biome so your probiotics now this is going to be balancing out your gut so if your gut's very unhealthy you should expect wind uh, which is completely normal it just needs to um it's just balancing out your gut so naturally fact is doing a really good job for you so not only is it going to work on your skin but it's going to work on your overall feeling the stomach every single day it's going to boost serotonin so it's well worth just a month of wind in my opinion <laughs> absolutely and it's always better out than in anyway isn't it <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so if someone's um, taking um, a multivitamin already, then why, Simone, should they be adding these type of supplements into it? 
So obviously, I think I've already previously mentioned it, but just to reiterate, um, the multivitamin will work on your body. So it's going to work on maintaining your health of your body, which will then allow the supplements from your, your the vitamins from your skin supplements to work more on your skin, um, which is why it's so important. And we do actually heavily recommend you take a multivitamin. So uh, we primarily work with Skin Vitality, which is the most popular in my salon. Um, and, it, and it really helps to balance out the body and allows better absorption of your skin vitamins. So really, really important to take both together. Absolutely. And um, I couldn't agree with you more there because like you said, the multivitamin could be for a general health, but also there's a lot of people out there that might be watching this that have been taking the same supplements for a very, very, very long time. Um, mm. But they just have a few odd skin concerns. And like I say, you can just simply add on to your general routine, what you've been taking as supplements. You can just add in these specific skincare ones just to help you with those concerns for sure. Absolutely. And um, it's really important to cover, obviously, any con dietary concerns. So um, someone who's a vegan or vegetarian, of course, where Advanced Nutrition can, they've made the, the, the products vegan. Um, the only products that aren't is um, skin, uh, skin clear biome, skin new farm to unfortunately probiotics, because it's not, it's not because it uses it, but it grows on... Um, the way it grows we it has to have something in there so it's not vegan unfortunately and skin omegas we need fish oil unfortunately that's we can't um for it to be an omega we need omega fish oil from fishes so um that's the kind of the only two other than that they've always try and stood by the fact that if they can be vegan they will be vegan and i think that's such a big thing now isn't it you know a lot of people are very very savvy with what they are choosing mm -hmm. to consume um so it's really good to know that this specific brand can also cater for that because mm -hmm. there are definitely still supplements that are going to help with whatever skin concerns you may have um making sure that we can choose vegan ones for you if that is a necessity so I think that almost covers everything. But the only thing that I'm going to do is let Simone, whilst I just show um, the capsules, I'm going to let Simone sort of explain what the capsule is made of. And I just have them here. Here we go. So I'll just hold one up. So what's really good about these is um, that, of course, Capsules can sometimes be really cheap plastic, which is not good. And actually there was a story in America where um, a woman had a blockage in her, um, in her toilet system. And when the guy had gone down there, it basically been like nearly 20 years of her taking this vitamin whether it was just pure plastic. So she was just um, excreting it out of her system and it was clogging her pipes. So we actually use um, a mixture of plant and vegetable nutrients within our capsules. So even the capsule itself is really good for you, um, which is really important to note because we need to make sure whatever's going into your body is good for your body. So yeah, that it's just amazing that they've developed that. And Advanced Nutrition Program focus a lot on um, minimizing plastic so so much you know they are all about saving the planet and how to make things really really good for sort of future generations and things like that so it's really important to remember you know that a lot of these brands now um high quality brands anyway take this stuff really seriously really really seriously Absolutely. yeah they can just so you know the supplements can um i've just shown you these pots already so you can see that they come in all these pots and they've also got different colored lids depending on which one so they look super pretty anyway um, but they also a couple of different ways in which they come as well so you can get pots that have say 60 or 180 um, or 120 even supplements inside um, but you also can get them in this format too so you can see this is very well used I do only have a few days left on my pack here um, but what these are are called blister packs and these are where you get 28 days worth in one pack it comes really really gorgeous um, and it even says on the outside now gorgeous inside and out. Um, I love these because it's just a total fool's way of making sure you remember what you're taking every single day. But you can add in any other types of supplements as well um, within the brand that's gonna be recommended to your skin type. So you might get them in different formats depending on what you're treating. Um, but these are great. So these come as 28 day blister packs and they're all kept nice together. 
Uh, did you say you haven't got yours? Oh, you have. Well done. Well done. Yeah. So these are your probiotics. So um, obviously probiotic has live bacteria in there, so it's really important to protect it. So they've come in these really smart blister packs, which have nitrogen um, gas in there. So I always say that literally as soon as you pop it, you need to eat it and um, eat it, swallow it, because um, of course the bacteria then is released by oxygen and it start killing it off, which we don't want. Um, so just take it as soon as you pop it um, to get the most bacteria into your gut as soon as possible. So yeah, I love the fact that they're protected. And there's, there is another way, actually, the Pro Vitalities come, um, I have got them in the other room, sod's law, um, but they come in kind of like long, so they're very much similar to the okay. blister packs like this, but they're just in strips instead. So rather than being squares, they're just in strips instead. Um, so that's the way in which you would expect to see the supplements from this brand. Um, so not only are they packaged in a very environmentally friendly way, but they're also packaged very appealing to the eye too, which is exactly what we like, isn't it? Um, so it's really, really, really important. I know we keep repeating ourselves here, but it's so important to make sure that you are speaking to somebody who knows what they're talking about when it comes to recommending your products, which is why we rely so, so heavily on making sure we can get the advice to you via a consultation process. And I know that Simone at Mulvan Serenity and myself, the team at Pure Emporium, um, you know, we really, really, really put a lot of focus on consultations because that's exactly how we are gonna find out how we can help you the best. So if you were wanting to treat a specific skin concern, then us talking to you about how that's bothering you, how, you know, how it feels, um, all these different questions are going to make sure we can give you the best sort of direction um, and make sure we can treat it for you as well. And it allows us to educate you as the client. So it allows us, um, it might be something you're doing at home that you're not re realizing is triggering your skin um, condition. So just actually educating you to understand will allow you to go ahead with a better skin journey than you've ever had um, to really get healthy skin. So it's just so important. Definitely. And you can reach out to either of us at both of our salons. So just to confirm, it's Mulvan Serenity, um, where so you'll find Simone, and Pure Emporium, where you'll find me. And we both have teams of really, really, really fantastic therapists um, who are also available and on hand, um, who can help guide you as well. So you can reach out to either of us, and we'll be more than happy to um, assist you on your supplement journey. And if you have got any other questions for us, then do please feel free to reach out. You can reach either of us on Facebook, um, on our website. You can send us an email, however you prefer. You can reach out to us and, uh, you know, we will very, very, very much look forward to welcome you, welcoming you back into the salons when we can too. But thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm sure I'm speaking as well on behalf of Simone to, uh, you know, appreciate that you've watched this video and I hope that, uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it. So thank you so much.